We were very pleased at Rutgers Borough Council to support the, uh, the local government association which represents all the councils in the UK in a motion calling on government to support the climate emergency and to take uh, pretty drastic steps. But on a more practical level, in terms of Rushcliffe, we're delighted that we've been taking the lead in a lot of these tasks, such as the tree scheme. Uh, within four days, we had over a thousand people apply for those trees and they'll be collected in November. And as we know, trees will make one of the biggest difference to this planet. Things like we've now introduced our electric car charging points now at the uh, arena itself. Plus we've been doing regular briefings with our parish partners and our uh, suppliers to make sure also that they're at the very, very top of their game when it comes to environmental concerns. It was something that I brought in um, a couple of years ago because I wanted to make sure that the, the council was more transparent and more accountable. So all our major decision making forums such as cabinet meeting and with uh, a full council as well, it allows the public to, to put questions to the authority that either myself or my cabinet have to answer. So we've now endorsed this, we've trialled it for a year, it's worked really well. So I'm really pleased now and I would absolutely implore all members of the public to take the opportunity to come in and to, to make this council accountable. No, I absolutely understand the, the, the concerns of the community in terms of Luttrell Hall, but let me be absolutely clear now that uh, we're out to consultation, not just to users, but to all sorts of community bodies who have got a stake in Luttrell Hall and are interested in its future. Absolutely no decision has been made, and you have my 100% commitment that we will listen to everybody that's got an opinion before we make that decision. Uh, it will probably be, it could take up to a year in terms of the consultation because we want to make sure everyone's got that voice and we absolutely understand how important that is to the community and to all the people who use it. So we will make that decision from a very informed stance uh, as we go forward. We have some wonderful events recently, we've just had the proms in the park and we've had the, the food fair supporting our young people and I'm delighted that uh, residents, not just from Bridgeford, from all over the borough have come out and support that. Coming ahead we've got the, the lark in the park, we've got open cinemas there as well, so again I would ask people to come down and use this incredible and very unique facility that we're very proud of at the Authority. This has obviously created a lot of uh, excitement, uh, not just in Bingham, but many of the surrounding villages. But we are going to be delivering a, uh, a leisure centre there. At the moment, we're just going through all the designs and we'll be going public with the final designs into our planning committee uh, December 2019. So hopefully that all people again who are interested will be able to see that. And I'm sure we'll get a, a really, really good design and great facility we can be very proud of. Obviously with Luttrell Hall this was prompted by a change in the contact centre that the police are actually vacating in the middle of Bridgeford. But I'm delighted to say that we will have a new contact centre within the, uh, the town centre. I can't reveal details at the moment but hope to go public on that probably later this year. But uh, absolutely committed because we know it's a very, very important community facility and we will have that new centre open hopefully next year.